All right, so today we've got a 2013 Lexus RX350, and we will be installing a remote start into it today. I'm using the 12 volt solutions a remote start. I saw some videos online on how to install it, but they weren't super helpful, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this tutorial. And we'll start by taking off this panel right here. Alright, so we've got four clips right there. Um, I found it easier to start right here and then just unclip it right there. Um, like you can see, so you've got these two and then these two right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take off sorry, this little nut back here. And you'll have that little nut on there. All right, so I pulled off one of these, so that's no big deal. So it looks like there are there are just these two clips right here, and I go ahead and take off this one that I left on there. And you're gonna want to take these out because. They won't uh, be very flush when you put them on. But yeah, so I pulled that out, but go ahead and just put that back in. All right, so now that we've got this bottom plate off, now we're gonna go ahead and get this one off. Use these tools that I, just these cheap plastic pry tools that I got from Amazon. It looks like there's just a few clips on here. So, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this little accessory tool with all the buttons, like the gas thing and the trunk. Okay, you, you literally just put your fingers in here and you just push on it and they just unclip here. And just let that hang for now. I have to take off this plastic piece right here. And I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to get in there and just pop this little panel and that exposes a bolt in there. All right, so I'll be using an eight millimeter socket head. In here, you can also use a Phillips. So I have to take off this bolt right there. And then this bolt over there. And these are both eight millimeter bolts. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off this shroud right here. All you do is pull it forward. And then on this side as well, go ahead, pull it. This one's a little bit tighter. And then gotta just angle this through it. And then there is a plug right here that I'm gonna go ahead and unclip. And then there's also another blue clip over here I'm gonna unplug just so it's out of the way. So there was this clip that I pulled off right there for the um, the dash lights, and then also this one, which I didn't have anything um, like a button there. Okay, so this is the model that I got for the 2013 Lexus RX350. Um, when I watched the video online, um, it did not have, or it did have this connector right here. 
um, which this kit does not. So this this three right here is what you're looking at right here. Um, also in the video, it showed a toggle switch, and this one does not have a toggle switch. So I'm gonna show that this works without the toggle switch. Um, maybe it's an updated version and maybe the video's old. I know it was done in 2018 and now it's 2020. So, um, and according to this chart right here, you can see that RX350, it, it does not have that OBD2 right there, the OBD2 T harness. So that would make sense according to this, but in their video, they do use it. So like I said, it might be updated, but we do do that. We do use the TL2 um, sensor or connector, sorry, <laughs> um, which is right here. This uh, TL2 is what it's talking about, this red one. So this red one right here, the TL6, will not be used on this model right there. So just showing that. All right, so you can see this middle black clip right here where my finger's moving. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip that and plug it into our harness, and I'll show you in just a second. All right, so you can see this is the T harness connected into the original black one that was plugged into this slot right there. And so what's in there now is the other end of the T harness. Okay, so for this harness, or this T harness right here, it's, um, it's under the steering wheel here. So I didn't actually take off this plastic shroud. Um, so you don't have to take off the screws, the three screws on it. And we're gonna see if that works. Um, but yeah, that connector, you can see right here, it's right there behind the steering wheel. And if you get a, a flathead screwdriver in there, then you can go ahead and put it on there and pop it off, just make sure not to rip any wires or break anything in there. But yeah, you just have to put it in there and just pry down on it, and we'll be able to get it out. So your fingers are pretty tight in there. Um, but I was able to go ahead and take it off with the screwdriver. And like I said, you don't have to take off this plastic shroud if you do this. Um, it would be easier without it, so you can go ahead and try to figure out how to take it off. But I was able to get it with the screwdriver, so I'll go ahead and hook in that T-harness now. So, just so it's out of the way of the steering wheel, I'm gonna put this behind this metal bracket here. And we're gonna hook in this connector right here to the T harness. Okay, so you can see this one. This one's ready to be hooked in from the T harness. Okay, I'm gonna barely get it in there. And then I'm gonna grab the long screwdriver here and then just push it up and wait for it to click. And you can see this is out of the way of the steering wheel. Um, and then I'm going to zip tie this over here. All right, so I noticed that there was actually this metal, these metal clips on the back here. And I'm able to tuck the wires nicely behind that. Um, go ahead and do that so they'll be out of the way of the steering wheel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and program this module here. It's got the red and the blue connector here. Um, according to the instructions that came in the box, um, it says plug in the red connector to the module. So we're gonna do the TL2 
the the one that is supposed to go into this vehicle. The TL6 will just go to the side and won't be used for this. I'll go ahead and hook that in. Okay, and then it says hold the button down on the module, plug in the blue connector. So I'm gonna go ahead, there's the button right there. Go ahead and hold down the button on the module, plug in the blue connector. Release the module button when the light turns orange. Light will then turn a solid red, which it is. And it did turn the orange as well, if that wasn't there. It says press the push to start button on your vehicle twice to turn the ignition on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. and the module down here turned green. The LED will turn solid green. Press the start button once to turn the ignition off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the ignition over here. Okay, programming is now complete. Okay. Okay, everything's ripped apart right now, but we're gonna go ahead and test it. It should work according to the instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door and then with the key fob we've got, we'll hit it. One, two, three. And it started the car. It takes a minute to do it because I believe it's something to do with the programming, but looks like it worked. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and shut it off. We're gonna use the same method by hitting lock three times and holding it, and it shuts right off. Okay, so like I said um, in the video that I watched for this uh, 12 volt solutions video for the RX350, they had a toggle switch with, th which this one did not have a toggle switch. Also, this one does not have the OBD2 uh, T harness, which it didn't need, it started just fine. Also, in their video, they did unhook this screw, this screw um, behind here and under here which I was able to hook in this cable over here um, just fine. It was a little tighter and I had to use a screwdriver to take it out and push it back in, but it seemed to work. And I honestly wasn't able to figure out how to take off this. I'm sure it's easy, but it was just easy not to take it off. Um, so the next step we're gonna do is to put everything back where it needs to be. Um, obviously, I'm going to zip tie this. zip tied the module I put one end on this bolt right here or the, this hole I mean and then the other one I put um, a zip tie on the other side of the module and then I just zip tied it to pre-existing cables just so it doesn't swing out right there and get in the way of the wheel and then I just kind of zip tied this along with this one right here and kind of tuck that out of the way so I think that'll work just fine
Got everything hooked up now. Um, all the plastic pieces are back. Let's go ahead and try and make sure it works still. So I've got the key fob. One, two, three. Hold it for a second. And then you get that. And the remote starts. Okay, and we'll double check that it goes off too. And hold it for a few seconds and it goes right off. So it, there you go. And that's how you install a remote start into a 2013 RX 350.